The woman is Aura. So when she goes out, the shaitan seeks to tempt her. As a woman, I'm saddened by the comparison of a woman to private parts. Not only that, but there are many warnings and threats to women in Islam. In short, women are considered the source of sin, and many will end up in hell. Is it wrong to be born as a woman? How can I be a woman who is valuable and loved by Allah? Let's find the answer together. I'm confused as to why there's great pressure when it comes to a woman's appearance and dress. Truly, I appreciate the concern of my Muslim friends. My boyfriend said, this is Allah's way and guidance. One day, I joined my boyfriend to listen to a lecture. The ousted said, First, women can cause men to be tempted, which is why they need to wear clothes that covers their body. Second, they need to pay attention to their appearance, for example, not doing their hair extravagantly but letting it look natural. Third, Islamic teaching says the presence of a woman can become a distraction during worship activities. For example, menstruation is considered unclean, which is why women are forbidden to pray during their period. Fourth, women are also considered worldly and are depicted as man's possessions. Thus, it is sinful for a wife to disobey her husband, and that could lead them to hell. I felt even more dejected from this lecture. One day, I accepted a friend's invitation to a women's group. That community taught Allah's actual view of women. Apparently, women are precious before Allah. It's written, You are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you. This teaching provides a guide on how men should treat women well. I learned that God created men and women equally. Wives are very honorable, and husbands ought to appreciate them. The angel says, Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Husbands not only need to respect their wives through their actions, but also guard their minds. Jesus said, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. All these statements amazed and comforted me. I learned that my heart is what makes me an honorable woman, not my appearance. It begins when we put our faith in Jesus and follow him. It's written, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you when we believe in Isa. Jesus has given us a new heart, a clean heart that is sinless. With this new heart, we can do what is right, and it allows us to go to heaven. I found the answer I've been looking for in Jesus' teaching of love, that God created me perfectly, and He loves and appreciates women. How about you? Click here to watch more videos about Issa's perspective on women.